so I just got back to the dorm. It is 9.30 p.m. I was coming from Model United Nations Debate and Global Health Initiative, my regular Tuesday night. So let's see what's on the agenda for homework. Okay, so I have to read this entire book on adaptive markets and chapters 3 through 11 for microeconomics. Um, I also have to memorize the Constitution for U.S. history and study for my accumulative calculus test. So let's, let's look at the schedule for tomorrow. Just to see. So, oh, okay. So I don't have a sleep in, so that calculus test will be at 8 a.m. Um, but that's okay because I have my midnight espresso to get me through my fifth all-nighter this week. Hey guys, I'm a fetchy and that was not an accurate depiction of boarding school at all. I just want to have a little bit of fun at the beginning of the video. I mean, I would say I went to a pretty rigorous boarding school. I mean, I graduated from Phillips Exeter Academy, so I'm kind. By the way, I'm probably going to mention Exeter like so many times in this video and throughout the rest of my videos so yeah bit of a big deal um but i get friends parents telling me all the time to like convince their kids to go to boarding school and i'm like there are pros and cons honey so i'm gonna break them down today so you guys can figure out if you like even want to like consider applying to boarding school okay let's start with number one which i showed in the first clip the workload so i would say in general um, it really does depend on the school. For Exeter, very heavy workload. And it also does depend on your academic background. If you're coming from a very, like, lax public school um, type place where it's very, like, homework, um, very easy classes, then it would definitely take more time to adjust than someone who went to very rigorous public school or rigorous private school. Um, but I find everyone in boarding school eventually adjusts because, I mean, if you're going to stay there, you need to adjust. And I find no matter where you are, like, everyone, everyone does well, you know? I would definitely say just anticipate a higher workload. I would say definitely not all schools have, like, hours and hours of homework. Like, it's not like that for most schools, but I would just anticipate it. It's always better to be prepared. Um, like, for example, so, I live in Ann Arbor, and my mom literally drove me four hours to Chicago for an Exonian meetup before I actually went to the school. So I met this um, one girl, and she was telling me, oh my gosh, it's so hard, there's so much work, and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it wasn't just the hype. So when I got to school, I would I worked so hard, the instant I got back to my dorm, it was like, work, 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 work. And like, on the weekends, I would do my math homework for the week in advance, so on the weekdays, I could focus on my reading. That is the nerdiest, saddest sentence ever. That does not sound like a good representation. But I eventually stopped that after the first, like, month. That was honestly my pr most productive month, like, the first month I was there. Um, I came in as a new um, junior, by the way, so it was also, like, a more adjustment for me as opposed to coming in as a freshman, which most people do. Um, but honestly, eventually I adjusted. You know, so you can miss a homework assignment. Like, it's not going to kill you. I would just anticipate larger workload and you'll adjust. I mean, you're not like getting a PhD, you're getting a high school diploma. You will be fine. Okay, now let's talk about freedom and independence, which can be like a pro or a con depending on who you are. If you're someone who's going to be like super, super homesick and is going to FaceTime your mom literally every hour, boarding school is not going to be the best option for you. I mean, it's totally fine to be like homesick, like most people are. But if you're like super attached to home and you don't want to go out and explore something new, this is probably not a good choice for you. But if you want to get a little bit of experience before college, like living on your own. And what I really liked about boarding school is that there's a lot more like support system. Like you are like actually tight with your dorm. It's not just like a giant like thousands of students in one building who just like happen to live in the same building. Like you're close with your dorm and you like you have these faculty you can always talk to. It's really good preparation for that and you still get like a taste of freedom. Like yeah, you don't have parents and the faculty members aren't gonna like come tuck you in. Um, I personally like, I like the freedom. I mean, I wasn't like, 
I'm not like a crazy wild child who's just like because I mean yes there are people who go to boarding school to like not have parental guidance like that's a thing it's not like it doesn't happen um but there's a lot of like super mature responsible kids who just want to like further their ed education and like get something that they couldn't get at their like local schools and that's with like the general freedom and independence with like food dining hall takes care of that all and some people will complain about the food you can always make yourself a salad or a sandwich it's not like you're going to starve and worst case scenario you can go out and buy food if that is within your budget it is not within many i like i never paid for food outside like ever and for rooms Okay, it's really fun to decorate your room. I'm horrible at decorating, but I would go into so many of my friends' rooms and it would be like beautiful. Like one of my friends, it was like all blue and marble. It was so cool. And it can be a hassle to like get all your stuff over. Move in day is definitely like stressful, but throughout the year you can ship yourself stuff and you'll accumulate stuff over the years. But tip for senior year, you need to get rid of your stuff. Like you think you don't have that much stuff, but once you pack it, like it's ridiculous how much stuff you actually have. So that is my little spiel on freedom. If you have any more questions about that, leave it in the comments because I probably didn't get it all because there's like so much more to talk about, but I'm just like saying like what I mainly think of. Okay, let's talk about the culture now. This is gonna be a long one because boarding school culture is like, it's very, okay. It's like a freaking bubble. Like one time I took this bus because you can take a bus to, um go to the mall and I literally went outside and I was with my friends and I was like there's people who don't go to Exeter and like we were all like that it wasn't just me it's like an actual bubble you get so consumed and everything that's happening on campus and so with everyone so like close and up in each other's business it's like it can be a really close community but there also be like I mean there can be like scandals and you'll hear about the big discipline cases and all that stuff and like tea spills so quickly like the instant something happens at least 500 people know about it so that's one thing about the culture two diversity so honestly boarding schools will say we have like 42 percent colored kids or like 40 percent like they're including literally every single race that's not caucasian and they do it because they do want to get more applicants and a lot of kids when i went to exeter they would come in and be like this school is so diverse and i'm like if you went to like a, a rich private school i'm just gonna be like flat out yes this is more diverse but for me i came from a public school where it was very evenly distributed which that's just what my like city is like and so it was like definitely different because I was always the one black person in my classroom. Might as well talk about hookup culture. Okay, so <laughs> you are putting a boarding school is taking like, okay, some will come in as 12, but let's say 14 to, and let's say you take PGs, 14 to 20 year olds in a campus with um, limited dorm faculty. So or just horny teenagers with no parents around. Well, there are going to be hookups. Like this is like when your hormones are raging. It's just like like boys and girls on one campus, unless you're at like a single gender school. But like be smart about it. Yeah. There's been so many instances where people will be hooking up and then the fire alarm goes off and what do you do then? Exactly, or like one time we had like an incident of a missing kid on campus um, and so they were storming in everybody's rooms and literally 50 people were caught hooking up. Some of them were in very embarrassing positions. No schools are like gonna be like, no boys and girls dorms at all. Like there'll be hours where you can like go in and like, I'm not telling you to only go within the hours. Like just make good decisions. Like if you wanna do it, do it. Be smart about it. If you don't wanna do it, that's cool too. You're not gonna be getting into any trouble, but like literally just make smart decisions yeah that was that on hookups and general culture okay this is definitely something everyone wants to know about and it's 
making friends like I remember going to boarding school being like so 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 nervous because I was like oh my gosh like because I was again coming in as a new junior I was like everyone's gonna already have their own friends oh no 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 like people there are so nice like they know what situation you're in they remember when they were new and like let's say you're a new freshman like you're coming in as a freshman it's not like the other freshmen aren't gonna talk to you they like want friends too you'll eventually make them totally join clubs um because I mean, you're gonna talk to people in clubs, you'll like meet them after class. And I find what's unlike college that boarding school has is like such like tight dorm community. You'll have like super cool dorm events and it'll be super fun, and, like class events and like fun dances. And what else? There is another thing dances, dorms, class events. Oh, and classes, literally. I would meet so many of my friends in classes someone would sit next to me in class and they'd be like it'd be the class right before lunch they'd be like hey are you going to this dining hall big like, yeah and then we'd eat together friends boom done like it's not complicated like people want friends if you want friends i'm betting somebody else wants one too just talk to people and just be open and friendly okay this might be a little tmi for some people but i like I need to let them know because my number one concern coming to boarding school I found out I had a roommate and I was I wasn't devastated but I was like oh no what am I gonna do because I didn't know how I was going to you know fart <laughs> I could like, you can't do it in class can't do it in dining hall like the bathrooms like there's multiple doors in the bathroom and like if my room if there's another person there like what do I do so okay I'm gonna break it down so bathrooms they're going to be communal wear your towel as you walk through the hallway there have been instances where little siblings and families will visit and they'll see a naked girl or a naked guy so wear your towel shower caddies are necessary and okay this is a tip people will tell you to leave your soap and cubbies or leave them in the shower if you want nobody else to use your soap but you keep it in your room and just carry your caddy with you I didn't have an issue because no one's coming to my room to get the soap. They'll just use all the other soap in the bathroom. So, soap in your room. Farting. Um, this is a big one for me. Your roommate will hopefully be chill. My roommate was sort of like, mm, when I farted. But, you know, I'd be chill to her when she farted because I knew that's how I wanted to be treated when I farted. Um... But basically you can fart you'll find you like your roommate will not always be in the room first of all if your roommate is like crazy about farts and yeah that's that's it on personal hygiene but stay clean okay guys so i hope you found this video helpful i actually never watched one of these videos before i went to boarding school but i kind of wish i did but i hope you guys enjoyed and you know stick around on the channel to um learn more about boarding school i'll probably talk about it a lot because i'm like obsessed with exeter Ooh, i could do an exeter review Ooh, okay um yeah and college stuff and stuff about me that's when i'm like not watching hulu or netflix okay bye guys <laughs>